So it was pointed out to me after placing part one online last night, some folks actually don't know what a spring house is. I was surprised, but I guess if you don't know, you don't know. So this is a refrigerator. No, it doesn't look like one, but give it time. So a spring house is what people used to use to keep your food cool before refrigerators were invented. Underground temperature in Tennessee is around 56 degrees year round. Take or give just a little, depending on whether it's a wet or dry cave. This is going to be a wet cave. So these rocks will continue on up above that bank. It's gonna be at least six feet tall, maybe taller inside, which means all these rough walls have to continue up. Then I will backfill dirt against them, insulate the roof really well, and put an insulated door on it right in this area here so that it will essentially be an underground cave. Now your standard household refrigerator runs between 37 to 40 degrees, depending on where you have it set. And this hopefully being down around 56, 58 degrees maybe, I hope, won't be that much warmer than a standard refrigerator. Now I'm gonna have a regular refrigerator, but this is a great backup with the shelves that I'm building into it and they'll continue on up and I'll probably even put some regular shelving as we get up higher. But if you've ever milked a goat and had goats milk, you know it can be really good or really bad. One of the keys to having really good goat's milk is to chill it quickly after you finish milking. So you take that glass jar of milk and you set it right down in this cold spring water and it chills it much faster than putting in a refrigerator. Don't ask me to explain why, but chilled goat's milk is far better. It does something to the taste, it improves it because your goats are super sensitive to what they eat. If they eat wild onions, you're drinking wild onion milk. Now you can dilute or remove a lot of that flavor by chilling properly initially. So this is my spring house. Now the water that runs out of this spring house will go into a holding tank, which I will pump way up on the hill and gravity feed it into my house. Hope that makes sense. And yes, I am wearing the same dirty jeans I was yesterday, but there's a reason for that. I love my wife. Now in our household, we've divided the chores up. We both have responsibilities. Primarily, she does laundry. I say primarily because it's like 99 point eight percent of the time once in a while i do a little bit but knowing i was gonna jump right back in this mud pit i carefully laid these muddy jeans aside when i went home and cleaned up last night so i could just put them back on and save on the laundry love you honey anyway let's get started we've got some mud to mix because my helper's not here today and i'm gonna be doing it all but we're gonna try to get this rock wall laid on up in at least here today before I get wore out. So let's get at it. number 457 why you don't want to be a farmer rancher homesteader whatever you want to call it because you can't handle mud you ain't gonna make it
another day. I've got the steps in. Right about there is original ground level. That's all dirt that's piled up that's gonna go away. I'll probably end up putting one more step at the top of that one. But we have the door frame in place now. And that interior wall laid up a little bit farther. The foundation done on that corner and underneath the door. Then a little bit more laid up on the back wall. Working by myself today, so I went a little slower. But it's starting to look more like a spring house. 